क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इनवर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर विद फीडबैक और क्लोज लुक इनवर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द टॉपिक We know that in order to implement op amp as an amplifier, we require a negative feedback in the circuit. The negative feedback is provided so that output and input are 180 degree out of phase with respect to each other. The use of negative feedback in the circuit can control the gain of the circuit. That means it stabilizes the gain, which is very high in case of open loop configuration. The second advantage provided by negative feedback is that it increases the bandwidth it also changes the input and output resistance at the same time it reduces the effect of temperature effect of variation in power supply and also reduces the input of offset voltage which can control the output so because of this the negative feedback is used in case of amplifier circuit now let's see how we can use inverting amplifier in closed loop configuration so first let's see the circuit now in the circuit the signal which is to be amplified that means v in is applied to the negative terminal of the op amp that is inverting terminal of the op amp the output signal or feedback signal is also applied to the inverting terminal of the op amp the output signal is inverted version of the input signal as it is a inverting amplifier because of this arrangement the circuit uses a negative feedback because whenever there is increase in the output voltage the feedback signal vf is also get increases due which reduces the output voltage again so this is a form of looping which forms a negative feedback at the inverting terminal of the op amp the non inverting terminal that means the positive terminal of op amp is connected to ground therefore the voltage at v1 is equals to 0 now if we look at the input and output waveform then we can come to know that the input and output are 180 degree out of phase with respect to each other or we can say the output signal is inverted version of input signal before deriving the expression for voltage gain or for large signal gain of closed loop amplifier it is very much important to understand few terms related to the amplifier and the terms are closed loop gain open loop gain and gain of feedback circuit the closed loop gain is denoted by af and it is nothing but the ratio of output voltage to the input voltage open loop gain is denoted by a and it is a ratio of output voltage to the differential voltage vid the differential voltage is nothing but the difference between the voltage applied at the non inverting and inverting terminal of the op amp if v1 and v2 are the two voltages applied at the non inverting and inverting terminal of op amp then value of vid becomes v1 minus v2 now the third term is gain of feedback network in case of feedback network the output voltage is acts as a input to the feedback network and the output voltage of feedback network that is vf is nothing but applied as a input to the op amp so in case of feedback network vo is acts as a input and vf is acts as a output so gain is nothing but the ratio of output upon input so the gain of feedback network is represented by beta and it is given as ratio of vf by v0 now let's derive the equation for obtaining gain of inverting amplifier in closed loop configuration for that purpose we need to consider the circuit diagram again in order to obtain the output equation we need to apply kcl at node v2 so whenever kcl is applied at node v2 it is equal to input current is nothing but the sum of output current so here i in is input current i b and i f are the output current so when you apply kcl at node v2 we'll get the equation i in is equals to i b plus i f therefore i in is equals to i b plus i f if we consider op amp as a ideal one for analysis purpose then gain of op amp is very high that is infinity also the input resistance is very high that is infinity that means the value of ri is equals to infinite if it is op amp 741c then value of op ri is approximately equal to 2 mega ohms as the input resistance is very high therefore the input bias current is approximately equals to 0 in case of ideal op amp and it is 0.5 micro ampere in case of practical op amp therefore we can say ib is approximately equals to 0 because for analysis purpose we are going to consider op amp as a ideal op amp therefore if ib is equals to 0 then we'll get i in is equals to if now if we consider voltage values of i in and if then the values become v in minus v2 upon r1 is equals to v2 minus v0 upon rf 
Now we consider this as equation number one. We know that in case of op amp, output voltage is proportional to the difference between the voltage applied to the non-inverting and inverting terminal of op amp. If V1 and V2 are the voltages applied to the non-inverting and inverting terminal of op amp, then we will get output voltage VO proportional to the difference between V1 and V2. The sign of proportionality can be replaced by using a constant that is large signal gain or open loop gain that is A. So we will get VO is equal to A into V1 minus V2. We can rearrange the equation, therefore V1 minus V2 is equal to VO by A. In the circuit diagram, as terminal V1 is connected to the ground, that means the non-inverting terminal is connected to ground, therefore voltage across V1 is equal to 0 volt. If we substitute the value in the equation, then we will get value of V2 as minus V2 is equal to VO by A. So we can say that V2 is equal to minus VO by A. A. We will consider this as equation number 2. Now we have equation number 1 as V in minus V2 upon R1 equals to V2 minus V0 upon RF. We have a value of V2. So now we are going to substitute the value of V2 in equation number 1. So the equation becomes the equation is V in minus V2 upon R1 equal to V2 minus V0 upon RF. So the equation becomes V in minus of minus V0 upon A divided by R1 equal to minus V0 by A minus V0 upon RF. So the equation becomes V in minus minus V0 upon A upon R1 equal to minus V0 by A minus V0 upon RF. Now if we rearrange the equation then we will get the term VO by V in and which is nothing but closed loop gain of the op amp that is AF. So the equation becomes so VO by V in is nothing but the closed loop gain of the op amp. So we can write AF is equals to VO by V in which is equals to minus ARF upon R1 plus RF plus AR1. As we know the open loop gain of op amp is very much high therefore AR1 is very much greater than R1 plus RF. So we can easily replace the term R1 plus RF by AR1. Therefore, we'll get AF is equals to minus ARF upon AR1. Therefore, AF is equals to minus RF by R1. And we'll consider this as equation number three. So this indicates the equation for closed loop gain of op amp in inverting configuration. The negative sign indicates that the output is 180 degree out of phase with respect to input that means the output is inverted version of input and therefore the amplifier is called as inverting amplifier. Now from the equation of closed loop gain in inverting configuration we will come to know that the gain can be easily changed by changing the value of RF and R1. Therefore if we can set the value of RF and R1 properly we can easily control the closed loop gain of op amp. The value of RF and R1 can be adjusted in a such a way that the ratio that that means the gain of uh, op amp in closed loop configuration can be easily adjusted below unity also. Because of this property of gain, the inverting amplifier find many applications in case of linear integrated circuit. Now from the equation of closed loop gain, we will also come to know that the gain of op amp in inverting configuration in closed loop is independent of the gain of op amp in open loop configuration. Usually the RF which is used as a feedback resistor is used as a potentiometer so that we can easily adjust the value of RF in order to get a desired value of gain in application. Also the output is inverted version of the input because of the presence of negative sign. Now in the circuit the a non-inverting terminal of the op amp is connected to ground. That means V1 is equal to 0. We know that the output of op amp is proportional to the difference between the input applied at the non-inverting and inverting terminal of op amp. That means as V1 that is non-inverting terminal is connected to ground then we can say that V1 is equal to 0 volt. As we consider op amp as the ideal one therefore the open loop gain A is equal to infinite. Therefore we can say VO is equal to A into V1 minus V2. Therefore, V1 minus V2 is equal to VO by A. As value of A is infinite and anything upon infinite is 0, therefore V1 is equal to 0 as it is connected to ground. 
therefore v1 minus v2 is equals to 0 because vo by a is equals to 0 as so v1 is equals to v2 as v1 is connected to ground its potential is 0 therefore we can say v2 is also at zero potential according to the virtual ground concept. The virtual ground concept says that whenever any one of the terminal of op amp, whether it is inverting or non-inverting, is connected to ground, then voltage at other terminal of op amp is also considered as ground potential. So according to the virtual ground concept, the terminal V2 is also considered at ground potential, that is at virtual ground potential. So this is what about the inverting amplifier in closed loop configuration in which the equation of gain having its own important, that is nothing but AF is equals to minus RF by R1 that can be easily selected by using a desired value of RF and R1. So I hope you understand the output equation of gain in closed loop configuration in case of inverting amplifier and importance of inverting amplifier in practical application. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.